So in this video, we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing recurring decimals. Now, in the previous video, when we were adding and subtracting, um, we found that, although we could uh, convert the recurring decimals into fractions and then add the fractions together or subtract the fractions and then convert the fraction back into a recurring decimal, that process was quite arduous when you compared that you could just do long addition, long subtraction, and you could get uh, to the reasonable answer and hence the result. Um, when we're multiplying and dividing, I would not recommend doing this by long multiplication or long division or short division. Um, we could start off by doing 0.2 times 0.3 um, and then doing 0.22 times 0.33 and then 0.222 times 0.333 and trying to determine if we can see uh, where the pattern is but that seems like a really cumbersome way of doing it. When instead converting to fractions and then uh, converting to decimal will be a lot easier okay in the process so um, that's the way I would definitely recommend it for these now for 0 0.2 recurring we should be able to spot by now that that's going to be two ninths okay um, and 0 0.3 recurring is the same as three ninths or one third so actually, we're multiplying two ninths by one third, which is two over 27. Now, of course, we can convert that into a decimal, um, either by hand or via a calculator. So if I was to do it by hand, two over 27, two to the 27 goes zero with the remainder two. 2 to the 20 goes 0 with a remainder 20. Not big on my 27 times table. Um, <laughs> so if you want to do it by hand, then I would suggest writing out the 27 times table by the side. So that's 1, 2. Uh, then we're going to have uh, 61, 81. Then we're going to have 108. Then we're going to have uh, 135. Uh, then we're going to have uh, 142, 162. Then we're going to have 189. Okay, and then we're going to have uh, 196, 216. Uh, then we're going to have 223, 243. And then we'll be back up to 270 for 10. Lovely. Okay, so um, for 200 then, we know we can fit in 7 with um, 11 left over. For 110, we'll go 4 with 2 left over. Okay, then we'll have 0, uh, then 20. So we're back up to 20 and then going back to 7 again, aren't we? Then 740. So this is 0 0.0740. Um, actually, just 0, 074, right? So 0, 0.74, 0, 0.74, 0, 0.74. So that is what's repeating. Okay, so just double check that on the calculator. 2 divided by 27. Okay, so um, there's our first one. So you can see that actually in this scenario, um, converting into fractions and then going about it that way is going to be a hell of a lot easier. Um, I wouldn't want to go down trying to multiply decimals out. It would just take too long um, to double check. Now, if you're desperate to see what it would be like doing it with decimals, um, let's try one out. Um, so if I did 0 0.222, let's go to 4. OK. 
Okay, let's see how close this should be. So what we got? 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2. Um, bring in a 0. Then we've got 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2. Bring in 2 more zeros, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2. 3 zeros, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 3 times 2. Okay, right, we're going to add those together. So we've got 6, 6 plus 6 plus 0 plus 0, so 12. Then we've got 18, 19. Then 7, 13, 9, sorry, 12, 24, 25. Let's go about that, that way. Um, then we've got 18 plus 2, so 20. Then we've got 12 plus 2 is 14. Then we've got 7. Okay. Um, and then how many decimal points have we got? Well, we've got 8. So it's got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 0 0.0740526. Okay. So I'm not seeing the pattern quite yet, right? You might be going, well, is it almost 074? I would have to do, um, I'd have to do more kind of iterations uh, to really see. And um, in general, this isn't going to be a particularly nice way of doing it. It's quite a brute force method, as you can see. So I would tend to avoid that. Right, let's look at the next one then. 0 0.1212121. So that's going to be 12 over 99. And 0 0.2121212121 is 21 over 99. Okay, so uh, 12 over 99 times by 21 over 99 um, gets us to a simplified fraction of 28 over 1089. So on the calculator, this is 0.02571161. Now I can't see any repetition in there. So now I've got Wolfram Alpha just open, so what's that saying? Let's try it. So 28 over 1089. Um, it says that it is a repeating decimal, uh, but it's got period 22. So actually it's got more, uh, it's got 22 numbers that repeat after the decimal point. Uh, so it's got 22 numbers, then another 22 numbers, then another 22 numbers. Um, so if you want to check and see, if you type it into Wolfram Alpha dot com, um, then you can see uh, what that looks like and what part of it repeats. Okay, but the calculator um, can't show enough decimal places on its display. So number three. We have 0.8181818181 uh, divided by 0 0.9999999. Okay, so um, the 0 0.81 recurring we should recognise as 81 over 99. Now the 0.09 recurring, do we know what that is? Well, you can go through the algebraic process as we've gone through. Uh, by put letting x be 0 0.09 recurring. But of course, we should recognise that uh, 0 0.9 recurring is equal to 1. So if all I've done is divided 0 0.9 recurring by 10 to get that, so that must mean that 0 0.09 recurring is 1 tenth. So actually, we're just dividing this by one tenth. Now, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. 
and so this is 810 over 99. So essentially I'm just multiplying this 0.81 recurring by 10 and so this is going to be 8.18 recurring. And that will be the answer to number three.